So bulk gaining goods and bulk reducing goods are important to understand when we're trying to figure out where we should locate our production. Now, we use Weber's least cost theory to better understand this. And remember, it looks at agglomeration, labor costs, and also our transportation. We're kind of factoring in a bunch of different things. But bulk gaining goods are goods that as production happens, they gain weight, making it more difficult to transport and more expensive. So we want to try and minimize our costs as a business. So a bulk gaining good is more likely to see production located closer to the market. That way, that heavier good, we don't have to transport as far. And so we're able to save costs and increase our profit margins. On the other hand, a bulk reducing good gets lighter as production is happening, hence bulk reducing. As production happens, the cost goes down to transport. So we're more likely to locate our production there closer to the raw resources, which are often heavier than the final good. This allows us to maximize our profits and reduce our costs.